Good afternoon, everyone. Hasn't this been amazing? <laughs> it's been absolutely lovely. Just uh, last night, I was speaking to my friend Bev. I met her at phase two, and she said, <laughs> <laughs> and she said, uh, Titi, has the universe hugged you? And I said, yes, the universe has hugged me. And I have to tell you that being here at Dritivism is part of that hug. It's a big, tight part of that hug. And being here today is an even tighter and bigger hug. I really am speechless. I don't know what to say. Oh, I think back to when I was beginning writing many years ago. I won't tell you how many. Many decades ago, I won't tell you how many. <laughs> And it was such a lonely experience as an African writer. And today I'm here amongst sisters and everybody who's here to celebrate this magnificent work. I have to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for being women who work together. Thank you. One can see the support you're giving each other, how you are growing together. I hear that somebody from Femrite is also here and really like, you know, I, I'd be in touch with Goretti as much as I could while she was still at Femrite. Oh, Goretti, it's like this and can we get you to Zimbabwe? I need some support down here. So it's really marvellous. I'd like to say thank you for sharing your true stories as um, Christopher Conte has already said. You know, some of us are cowards and we pretend that we are not the people we really are when we write about things. You know, we fictionalize things. Of course, we're drawing on the universal, but it is so important to also be able to witness to what has been. And I was just reading the first story and I was amazed, you know, the daily trauma that people go through over little things like a name. Thank you so much for sharing. And thank you for sharing your victory. It is so important. Um, I think that really one of the things that we are here to do, no matter where we are on earth, is to witness to life. And I think that the lives of African women are really complicated because we are witnessing to life through a lens that says different. The lens says different, you're female, you're not male. The lens says different, you're African, you're not from anywhere else. And so really, I think you have really witnessed to this difference in the most magnificent manner. I'm looking forward to read this wonderful book. And in order to do this, let me declare Crossroads duly launched. Thank you.